All right, we are on our way and at a reasonable hour today, 2.45. And I'm almost at the Geiger Key Launch, which is another thing that uh, I haven't had a chance to do is fish out a Geiger Key in a long time. Today, I just want a nice, relaxing, calm day. After yesterday's ordeal, staying up until four o'clock in the morning, having to get up at eight, fill in orders. But I'm slowly chipping away at all the stuff that I have to do to get caught up with work. So I am gonna do an easy day, recovery day today, and then hopefully things will go smooth for the rest of the week. So that's the plan, we're almost here. Ah, we are out and I'm not in a rush or panic. I'm just gonna cruise around today. I uh, do a bait check at all my different spots and go where the day takes me. No pressures. The first spot I'm hitting is just the little um, entrance way to this uh, mangrove tunnel here. And what I'm looking for is mullet. Then again, I get pilchards over here as well. The key thing I'm looking for is productive bait spots where that I could hit on the way out, grab my bait and be fishing and not messing around. And since I haven't been out here for a while, I want to check all my spots. All right, so we've got mullet there. Those are small, small size, but probably good for right now. See them running. There's some decent sized ones in there. So this, this spot usually gets a mullet because it's got a lot of sand here. So next spot, pilchards. Big schools of them over here. So this is right at the entrance way to uh, the Geiger Key. This is just all one big swarm of them. So that's good to see. So I've got mullet pilchards. And actually I'm gonna be checking these sand spots for uh, blue crabs, bait size ones. So that's what we're in this little corner for. It's all silty sand here. So let's see what the visibility is like. Well, unfortunately the visibility is not so great especially when I'm looking for smaller crabs, but uh, this water should clean up this week after a couple days of uh, calm winds. Plus the uh, mullet are inside here churning it up, so I think that's more of the problem. This is the uh, little mini reef right along the flats, just out in front of Geiger Key, and it creates all these little pocket, deep channel pockets, cuts. You can kind of see where it's that little sand line and it gets kind of a mirrored water there. Those drop down in depth. Pockets over here get depth as well and that's where the uh, the big tarpon hang out and barracuda. We'll take a quick cruise through here since the... Hey, cat! I might need that. Yeah, looky there. It's a nice one. No logo. This will probably replace my white one that's all beat up and shredded as my going fishing hat. The next area I'm going to hit is this little cut between Geiger Key and the uh, Shark Channel. Remember, anywhere that there's current, you'll find fish. So even though this isn't a real deep channel, it still pushes a lot of water and that's going to carry food in it. And I'm seeing birds working over there. Most likely glass minnows, but it could be pilchards. Yeah, it's glass minnows and pilchards. Oh, this whole thing is all glass minnows and pilchards. That's a real good sign, all these pilchards here. Man, it's just still completely solid. The whole floor is moving. Now we're taking a look at my main bait spot. These are all just glass minnows here. But usually if you find them, you're gonna find Mr. and Mrs. Pilchies around. So let's see if we can find any. I would like to do some offshore stuff this week. So I need some jumbos. Well, I didn't run into any pilchards at my main spot just adjacent to Shark Channel. But I lost the sun here because the storm's coming over. Uh, 
I'm gonna check uh, on the opposite side in this kind of cubby hole area, see if they're hiding there maybe. But I'm not seeing any birds working it, so I don't know. Well, we shall see. Well, it's raining now. That's new. <laughs> I haven't seen rain in a month. It's actually nice. It cools things down a bit. It takes away a little bit of that humidity for a short time. But I couldn't tell the backside because it got all dimpled up. So I am letting the wind push me. I'm going to take a quick look on this flat. Uh, it's it's coming up towards high tide, I think. So I'll see if there anything uh, is tailing up on this flat out here. Then I'll have to decide what type of fishing I'm going to do. Well, apparently God has decided I'm not going to have that nice and peaceful, calm day. And just let Mother Nature pee all over me. Great. Right, 15 minutes has passed and so has the rain. There's a little bit of action over there, but I don't think it'll be too bad. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna grab some mullet if I can, if they didn't skedaddle because of that rain. And then uh, I might do a long drift with them all along the shark channel. I haven't seen any action, no rolling tarpon or anything. So this is just gonna be kind of a search type fishing so let's see if we can do that there's the jumbo pilchards not a huge school of them but they're all good size there's all the jumbo mullet i mean uh pilchards all inside here those are good ones those are my offshore friends they're tucking way underneath these mangroves All right, at least I know they're here. They're actually just sitting there mocking me because my net's not ready. This is where that five foot net would have snagged them, but I got to straighten this thing out. And then they're gonna take off, of course. Just wait for me, I just give me a second here. You guys ready? Oh, this is gonna be a mess. Uh-oh. There is our load for the day. One and done, and then some. And that's how we do it. So since I don't need all this bait at once, I'm gonna sink one of these and just have it here waiting for me. And I'm gonna use my stakeout pole. Just like that. And that way I don't have to babysit these and they'll have fresh water. I think I've got like five in that one and four in this one. So that'll keep these guys alive. And then I won't have to be uh, dumping water to keep them alive. And then if I run out, just scoot on over here and pick them up. All right, we've got our little mullet buddy here. We're going to just be freeze lining them just out in the current. I've got my seven knot circle hook. Run it right through the nose like that. I've got 60 pound mono here, uh, which is about average. Um, if it was much dirtier or late in the evening, nighttime, I would probably go to 80 just for that extra protection. No bobber, nothing, just put them out there and see what happens. All right, something's taking it. Something's running with it. I just saw, let's see what this is. Oh, 
Oh, broke me off. That must have been a shark. Got this nice one. Unfortunately, it's just going to attract sharks, I think. But I got spare baits. For you kayakers out there that are thinking about doing the uh, channel fishing, just make sure you've got a very solid anchor system, know how to use it, and are comfortable being an anchor because you can see how fast this current is moving. So even though this is the ocean, these channels will produce current that's equal to or more so those than rivers. And if you get locked up out here, you're going to be in big troubles because it's going to take you out. So just make sure your stuff is in line and you know how to use it. What the heck's got this? Uh, man, this was a big old mullet too. I mean, this is a solid 10, 11 inch mullet that was on here. Oh. Come on up, baby. Show me what you got. Ugh. Ah, black tip. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it, sharks. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? Surfing shark. Something's gonna come and eat you. Oh man. This current is just ripping. I can't do anything. Oh crap. Crap. Nope, don't want that side. Oh, there we go. Broke it off. Sweet. Oh, I count that as a success. Well, freaking hell. My anchor line broke. <laughs> Lost my anchor. That sucks. Ah, oh, great. All right, I think we're going to get out of this current, go up to the basin where there'll be less current, and I'm going to drag some uh, mullet around. Crap. Pick up some baits. I only need a couple, so I'll probably release the rest. Hey. And then we're going to head out up there and try to get out of this current. All right, it's prime time. Sun has set. I'm gonna slow troll these uh, mullet around, see if we can cover some ground real quick. Took a while to get out here and see what happens. Oh, I'll stay on the other side of the buoy. Oh, I'm the wrong side of that buoy. Oh, stupid shark anyways. And I'm wrapped on that buoy. No, oh, he's still on it and he's still wrapped on that. Hey, what are you doing there? He's got me wrapped on that buoy. Stop! Oh, he's just knitting a sweater. Another one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't even know where my other line is at. Oh, no. Oh. Shark on a crab buoy. It's great. I don't even know where this line is at. It's probably all wrapped in up in there too. Sweater number three. Ugh. And he's still on too. 
All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, this is gonna be stupid. Oh, there is line. Oh my gosh, again. Can't tell what side you're on because it's wrapped around five times. What is this? I'm off the buoy, but there's... What is that underneath there? Gosh, oh, I give up. All right, let's recap today's tarpon hunt. It sucked. <laughs>